10 inch table saw here is what I'm going to show you how to cut on. I'd like to show you some of the features of it. One is there's a guard here and you can move it back and forth and set what width of the piece you want to cut. Also the blade goes up and down. You want to try to make sure the blade isn't much higher than the piece of lumber you're going to cut. So you see here I've got it just sticking up a little bit. If you have it this far up you don't want to get your hands next to it. Now I'm going to show you how to feed a piece of lumber by yourself. I'm going to push it halfway through with the, without turning the saw off. Then I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to pull it through. So watch how simple this is. Remember with a table saw it won't even shoot up at you. It just, it's a very safe tool. bunch of strips that size also you can you, you can also rip larger dimension lumber but now you got to remember the blade's not up high enough so I've got to raise that blade so it sticks up a little bit higher than my material and I'll make a few cuts here so you can kind of see how easy it is to get familiar now see it's sticking up a little bit that's the safest for me and this is going to push a lot harder because this is twice as thick or three times thicker than that half inch. some of our series you'll see how you can take that out with your sander. I'd like to show you another one is cutting open a door jam. It's the same thing you're going to push it through this time I'm going to come around that side of a box how you can cut it all the way around and it's going to come out the exact same height so I'm going to make two little baskets out of this box and of course look at my blades up way too high for this lumber I'm going to come way down I don't want to have a item trying to kick back at me so the less blade that's sticking out okay ready I'm going to cut four cuts real quick
with any saw, you don't want to get near it till it stops and winds down. This one's going at 7,500 RPMs, one of the faster saws. But it's a very inexpensive saw. One of the reasons I like about it is it's got a lot of plastic on it so you can take it to work with. It. It's got a metal top. Mostly if you go to a garage sale, you're going to find such a heavy saw, these guys are trying to get rid of them because they can't take them anywhere that pretty much shop saws. This is a portable saw. Thank you very much.